Hi, my name is Luisa, I'm a cosmetic chemist and the founder of Luisa Fanzani Cosmetics Lab. A while ago I answered this uh, question on Quora, uh, if you don't know Quora is a Q&A uh, website where people can ask questions and uh, experts, um, but actually even not experts, but anyway, um, can um, reply to these uh, questions. So uh, this particular uh, answer that I gave uh, went uh, viral and got um, more than uh, 2 million uh, views. So this is why I think the topic um, is interesting and uh, I wanted to share with you uh, the video version of this. So the, the question was, is it true that Nivea is more effective than high-end uh, creams or brands or moisturizer? So um, this is a very controversial uh, topic and I think that's why the, the answer was so successful. So to, to answer this question, let me, let me give you, let me say this. Um, so uh, when you are buying uh, Nivea cream, you're actually buying a moisturizer. When you are buying a luxury brand uh, product, moisturizer or serum, you are not buying a physical product, a moisturizer or a serum. You are actually buying an experience and you are also buying a dream, which is have glowing, uh, flawless skin. This is why the Nivea retails for uh, six bucks. And the cream, for example, like uh, Cream de la Mer, retails for $325 for one ounce of product. This is the first thing that you need to understand. So, if you are not interested in the experience, the sensory experience and uh, um, the overall experience a luxury brand can provide you, uh, definitely in, use the Nivea one because from an ingredient standpoint, the truth is that there is no much difference. So, uh, in fact, uh, um, check it out uh, um, the two ingredients list. So, I have highlighted in uh, red the ingredients that are just uh, um, preservatives or a pH adjuster, which means ingredients that do not really affect the performance of the product. And I also have highlighted in blue the ingredients that the Nivea Moisturizer, the, the blue uh, cream, has in common with creme, um, creme de la Mer. Again, one retails for six bucks, the other one retails for 325. I mean, unbelievable how many the, over, the, the overlapping of ingredients. You see how many ingredients they have in common? These ingredients are a gold standard when it comes to moisturizing. Uh, this is because they are hydrophobic ingredients, they are occlusive, meaning that they form a, a film, a hydrophobic um, film on the skin, um, which uh, reduce the, the water loss and thus increasing um, skin moisture. But you also need to know that these ingredients like uh, petrolatum, uh, um, waxes, uh, octyl dodecanol, these are not expensive ingredients at all. Um, they work very well, not saying that they don't work, they work very well but they are not expensive. So why is a, a, a product like a creme de la mer um, so expensive where well, at the end of the day basically have the same ingredients as the Nivea cream. So one of the reasons is that I mentioned before, so it's about brand positioning. La Mer is not selling you moisturizer, it's selling you the whole skincare experience, sensorial experience. Nivea is selling you a moisturizer. The second difference is that um, the research um, of on ingredients, um, so, and also the presence of uh, uh, some trademarks and patents on ingredients, which of course affect the overall price. 
Uh, for example, La Mer uh, in his cream um, is uh, uh, they claim they use this uh, miracle broth and uh, um, which is nothing but um, I mean sorry <laughs> which is um, basically sea kelp extract. And uh, this is a trademark ingredient and uh, supposedly it has some uh, scientific research behind it. And this is why uh, the cost uh, to use this ingredient compared to use regular water is definitely higher. Um, is this enough to justify the price gap? I don't think so. Um, but this could be, but this is part of the uh, explanation. So what should you buy then? Um, I'm not here to tell you what to buy, but I need you to know the facts so that you can make um, informed an informed decision when you decide what to buy. So if you just want your skin to be, to be moisturized, um, feel soft, definitely go with the Nivea cream. If you want to have uh, um, a full experience, uh, sensorial experience, uh, go with the, and can afford it, obviously, go with La Mer. You see, there's a, there's a world of difference, like Nivea, if you read on the package, what the, the instruction, they tell you, apply and rub on your skin. Why, if you go and read what La Mer tells you to do, they say to uh, gently rub the, the cream between your hands and warm it um, so that you kind of melt and become uh, becomes translucent and then apply on the skin by patting gently. You see, this is completely a, a different description for uh, um, a moisturizer, right? And, uh, and not only not only that, um, La Mer definitely invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into testing the best fragrances um, to offer you really in a full, like we've seen before, a sensorial um, experience. This definitely has, a, um, has an impact on the price. But again, do not believe that just because of the price uh, difference, La Mer has as a moisturizer works better than Nivea because that's just simply not true. In fact, they share a lot of the ingredients. So performance wise, they probably perform the same way. Um, so whether you should be buying one or the other, it's up to you. Meaning what are you looking for uh, in a product? I just need you to know the facts so that you don't waste your money. But if you, again, if you can afford it, you really like the fragrance uh, um, and definitely you want to, to show your, your status, then definitely um, go with uh, La Mer. I hope this video was uh, useful. Uh, any question, please let me know. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.